So last December, I bought a new phone kasi yung Luma kong phone is starting to lag na. So as someone who makes digital content, gusto ko sana bumili ng phone that has the best possible photo and video quality at a certain price point. My budget for that purchase is around 20,000 pesos. So I only end up spending 360 dollars. That's less than my original budget. So paano nangyari yun? The reason is because I was able to score this during Black Friday sale. Because pagka Black Friday sa US, mas mura yung mga cameras, yung mga gadgets. So ayun, I asked my friend to buy this for me. So, yun, uh, it only cost dapat parang $320, but I asked him na ipaship na dito. So, that's additional $40 for me. So, yun, uh, I end up spending $360 all in all, and I bought the Google Pixel 3a. Originally, I just intended this to use for taking photos because the feedback about this phone is it takes good photos. But during the past month, I ended up using this as a backup camera to my point and shoot, especially pag nasa labas ako because I wanted to be low key. And to be honest, I end up liking the videos that I was able to capture using this phone. Because of that, I think I should make a full review about this phone. So I'm now switching from this camera to this phone. Okay, I'm now shooting using my Google Pixel 3a. So yeah, I'm now currently using the Google Pixel 3a. So basically, when I'm making my YouTube videos, there are three compositions, there are three shots composing my YouTube videos. First is the talking head shot. So siguro parang 70% of my videos is composed of this shot. Then yung 20% is probably yung on-the-go vlog ko. That's where I'm talking outside. Then yung 10% are just B-roll supporting yung story na gusto kong ikwento. I guess with that being said, let's go outside and take those shots. Okay, let's start here outside. So basically, this will be the 30% portion of my video where I'll be talking on the go, talking outside, and capture some B-roll images. Okay, the first series of tests that we will do is compare the cameras. This is the rear camera versus the front camera test. This is the rear camera I'm currently recording or the back camera. I'm assuming it's maganda to compared to the front camera but I don't know by how much. So mamaya let's just see later in post. This is the front camera. Basically, ang advantage lang ito is it has a wider angle and kita ko yung sarili ko on the screen. Now that I'm done with the front and rear camera test, test naman the image stabilization nito. So I'll try to turn it on and let's see kung talagang okay yung image stabilization nito. This is me walking without image stabilization. This is me walking with image stabilization turned on. Now that I'm done with the camera test and stabilization test, let's check if kaya na itong kumuha ng cinematic sequence. It's Now that we're done shooting outside, let's continue shooting back here at home. So basically, itong gantong shot ko, this talking head shot, it composed 70% of my videos. So I usually just use 1080p because most of the people naman just watch us using their phone. So I don't think it's necessary to use 4K. But for the sake of this test, let's switch back to 4K and see kung may difference ba. I'm now currently shooting at 4K mode. Is there any difference ba with the 1080p? So let me know in the comment section down below. Is this way sharper or may improvement ba sa quality na image? If wala, di ba parang wala namang sense just to use 4K because it consumes more space. So now I'm currently going back to 1080p in 3, 2, 1. Now for this test, I need you to listen. With this setup, I'm currently using an external microphone. So yung next shot ko will be without the microphone. So I'm currently what? Parang at least... Three feet away from my phone, so uh, I want you to hear the difference between 
uh, a setup na with mic and without external mic. So, I'm now switching to uh, the setup without external mic. This is how yung internal mic ng Pixel 3a sounds. So, I'm now currently just using yung microphone ng Pixel 3a. Is this way better or is it just the same or way worse? I'm expecting this sounds way worse kasi uh, nung last na tinest ko yung internal microphone no Pixel 3a, it captures a lot of noise outside. So, I'm expecting parang basag-basag yung sinasabi ko. So, ayun. That, I mean, that's for you to listen. So, I'm going back to the microphone. Now, for the last is I want to test yung image stabilization na itong phone na to. So, want to know if okay ba siya mag-pair with the software warp stabilizer ng software ko. Because the last cinematic test I used, the, uh, I turned off yung internal image stabilization ng phone ko. So, for this test, I'll just make a coffee, make a B-roll about it, and let's see kung okay ba yung performance ng no, uh, image stabilization ng phone ko paired with warp stabilizer no Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> Okay, let's just wrap this up by telling you yung pros and cons of using the Pixel 3a. So, I have a list dito. So, yung basic list ko, yung pros niya is obviously for its price point. I mean, at a 20,000 price point, it's really the best possible phone, yung camera quality that you could afford. At its price, it's really the best. Tapos, yung small form factor niya since it's a phone, so it's really, really good. Now, ang dami kong constraints dito, but still, so yun na, uh, let's just read it. So, constraints ko is it uses a cable na Type-C to Type-C. You can see it's a Type-C to Type-C. So, ang problema ko sa kanya pag Type-C to Type-C siya is uh, ang hirap mag-transfer ng mga files. So, kasi di ba yung mga PC, yung mga laptop usually has yung uh, Type-A na USB. So, transferring of files is uh, quite parang inconvenient para sa akin. Next is limited storage. So, it only has 64 gigs of storage. So, if shoot ka ng shoot, kailangan mo agad i-transfer or mag-delete ng files cause it easily fills up yung memory ng phone mo. Screen! So, isa pang hindi ako snay when I'm using yung phone kasi di ba ginagamit ko yung rear uh, camera ng phone ko so, yung screen, hindi ko nakikita ko ano talaga yung uh, framing ko so, that's also a constraint for me pagka ginagamit ko yung uh, phone. Uh, it doesn't shoot 24 frames per second which I'm usually shooting at it only shoots at 30 and 60 frames per second. So, yun. Lastly, uh, overheating. Yun pa, isa pa pala. Overheating, it overheats to me twice. Once, nung nagdadrive ako. So, sinabi ko siya sa windshield ko and uh, yun, parang given. Talagang kasi nakatutok yung arrow dun sa windshield ko. Dun yung phone ko. When I'm shooting yung uh, time lapse ko na habang nagdadrive. Yun, nag-overheat siya doon. So, I think pwede mong i-forgive yun. But kanina, when I was shooting yung coffee scene ko, yung coffee uh, b-roll ko, it also overheats. Lastly, software issues. Uh, it's incompatible dun sa ginagamit kong software, which is yung Adobe Premiere Pro. So, when I use yung external mic ko, uh, nagkakaroon ng latency between the voice and the video. So, let me show you a bit of the clip. Mawi-weirdohan talaga kayo. Basically, when I'm making my YouTube videos, there are three compositions, there are three shots composing my YouTube videos. Okay, if you bigyan mo 20,000, even with that many constraints, I'll still take yung Pixel 3a, even with that so many constraints. Kasi yung quality to price is really, really high for me. So, yun. Uh, pero, if, I, if you have a uh, bigger budget, if you could afford the iPhone 11, it's really one of the best ngayon, or the best camera na pwede mong gamitin for uh, YouTube filmmaking na phone lang. Uh, you don't need the Pro or the Pro Max, just the iPhone 11. So, yun. That's uh, the my formal review about the Pixel 3a. Just want to add na lang, more than, uh, I mean, your camera is just a tool for you to tell the story and uh, after making, what, 300 internet videos, uh, what I've learned is, hindi naman yung, kasi, when you're, when it's about your camera, yung pinaka na gagawa lang naman is itas yung image quality mo eh. Pero it's just one aspect of parang internet video making or yung internet videos. Because para saan, there are four aspects in making internet videos or yung internet videos has four aspects. First is, uh, pinaka importante para saan is yung story quality. Second is yung personality mo, kung na express mo ba yung sarili mo na maayos. Third is just yung image quality and sound quality. So para sa akin, if you only have yung phone mo and gusto mo talagang gumawa ng videos, I mean, 
Huwag mong pigilan yung sarili mo. You only need, what, a phone and an internet. Kasi pwede ka na nga din mag-edit sa phone mo. So if you really, really, really want to create, I mean, walang dapat para mag-stop sa'yo. So, guess that's where I want to end this uh, review. Hope you find this para informative if you're planning to uh, buy one, buy a phone. So, yun lang. Alright. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That's it. Bye!